A sincere welcome to all who have come to worship this morning. In the spirit of the psalmist, how good it is to sing praises to our God. Let us lift our minds and hearts to our loving creator and sustainer. May the incomparable blessings that come from God alone touch each one of us. Please remember in your prayers this week the family of Forino Cantino, who entered the church triumphant this week and whose services were held. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, I invite you to fill out a blue and white welcome card that can be found in the pew rack and then place it in the offering plate so that we might greet you and respond to any questions that you may have. I would also ask that each of you pass the red ritual of friendship pad that we might get to know each other by name. I invite you to turn to page six in your bulletin this morning so that you can take note of the Wednesday evening Lenten opportunities for worship, study, and fellowship. And also please take note on page eight of the bulletin of the program Welcoming the Stranger, Crossing Borders, that will take place next Sunday, beginning at 1.30 with an interfaith time of prayer, followed by two o'clock with an event intended to raise awareness of some of the obstacles facing refugees coming into this country, as well as help to dispel some of the common misconceptions concerning them. Also, I'd like to announce that the three uh, o'clock special music will not be occurring today. And now Ann Noble's coordinator of the Listening Project has a word for us. Good morning. You've, you've been hearing for the last two Sundays about Listening Project 2017, and it's finally here. Church members will receive either an email or a postcard this week with important instructions about how to complete this online survey. The survey results will provide vital information to the pastoral nominating committee and church leaders as we manage the transition to a new to new pastoral leadership with the retirement of Reverend Galloway in 2018. If you don't have a computer or you have questions about the survey, please call John Coppich or Gail Barber at the church. They're more than willing to help you work through your issues so that you can complete the survey and their numbers are printed in today's church bulletin. We're eager to know your thoughts about the church, its life, and mission. So please, be, please complete the survey. It's really important for everyone to participate, and we want to remind you that the survey will only be open for two weeks. It will close on March 26th. Thank you, and we look forward to hearing from you.